Does the lipstick on this art piece look anything like the one from the girl at Cirque du Soleil? Jewel chick. <laughs> this is made um, from a little wagon that was a child's toy and dull parts. You can see the hands and I have a toe sticking out of the wheel. Nails. And this is one of those paper mache body things that you can get at uh, a craft store and feathers. And this was inspired by a newspaper article that was sent to my husband from his grandmother. So um, her uh, husband passed away, Doug's great grandmother, or grandmother, sorry, my kid's great grandmother. And she found this old newspaper article on how to make a laundry room um, I don't know if you can see that. There's a woman sitting there at a table and it was titled uh, Sitting Laundry Room Designed to Make Domestic Chores a Pleasure. This is called The Wife. Ha ha. So the lipstick looks like she had a Valium or something before her martini. <laughs> and when you said that about the Cirque du Soleil girl, that's what it reminded me of was this art piece. And over here, I have jewelry that I'm trying to make out of old silverware, silver plate silverware. Um, here's an eyeball. It's made from a taxidermy eye that I happen to find at Salvation Army. But I think you can't find them online. I've seen them on there before. Bent the spoon. I bent the spoon with my mind. <laughs> Here are the other ends of the spoons. And um, I bent them on the back. And you can wear them as a pendant. My older daughter is getting married. So I think I'll make these for the wedding party. She thinks that's a cool idea. That's another thing I made from it. And there's a fork. And they turned out really cool. My little daughter wears this one to school. She's wore it all week to school. She thought it was so cool. Anyway, bye for now. And um, I'll make another video soon. Ciao.